in the Bengals locker room with Evan McPherson. Evan, we're just a, a few days away from the start of the regular season. How are you feeling going into year three? Feeling good. Feeling excited. Um, obviously, it's a new, new group again this year. So uh, we got a good group. Uh, we've been doing good together. So I'm excited to, uh, I guess we put it to the test in the preseason, but you know it all really matters here. So I'm excited to get going. Perfect preseason. For you, at least field goal-wise, perfect preseason. You could say perfect but I, there's definitely some improvements some of the field goals I didn't hit the best so looking to improve that but uh yeah not missing is always pretty good is this the best you've felt going into a season or most confident you've always been a confident guy yeah I, I'd probably say most prepared um it's, it's how I'm feeling right now it's just kind of um knowing uh, kind of what works for me a little better this year than the past couple years um and i feel like we're in a, in a pretty good spot to kind of hit the ground running how is your your relationship i would say with brad robbins another, another holder new year yeah no it's good um i feel like specialists were always pretty easy to get along with and brad's no different you know he's, he's got the little goofy tendencies that all specialists have and um he's been good up to this point uh, you know i i see him having a great season uh punting holding i, I got a lot of confidence in him so i think it would be pretty good your rookie year you were the young guy now it's a room full of young guys as far as specialists are concerned how, how different is the vibe this season i think i mean it, it was definitely different my rookie year than t this year uh obviously kevin and clark have been doing it for a long time uh and just having all young guys you know i'm actually the youngest guy in the room it's weird, even though you're the most experienced. Most experienced, yeah. But, no, it's just fun. You know, there's a lot of energy, a lot of, um, I don't know, excitement to go out there and, and play uh, that I feel from Cal and from uh, Brad. And I think we're all excited just to kind of get out there and go together. I mentioned your preseason being perfect. You talked about things to improve on. This offseason, what were you focused on improving on? Yeah, I was just focused on kind of improving ball striking and consistency in that area, just hitting the ball clean more often. Because um, I feel like if I hit a, a clean ball, there's a pretty good chance it's going to go through. And, uh, you know, in the past couple of years, whenever I'd miss, I'd kind of miss hit some stuff. Timing would be off a little bit. And so it's really just I really focused on just kind of hitting a clean ball uh, more times than not mechanics wise and I'm not trying to get too into the weeds but is there a difference between kicking a 58 yarder and kicking a 47 yarder for you yeah I mean people definitely say there's not and there's not too big of a difference um, other than your window for I don't know air goes it shrinks a lot on a 58 yarder you got to hit it um, a lot better honestly um, other than that, I mean, it, the process is still the same, right? You got to hit it clean. Um, I'm sure, your 20 yard field goal should be good if it was 58, but um, I really have a lot of fun with the long field goals, too. So there's more adrenaline, more um, energy in the stadium whenever those kicks are going on. Do you have a goal in mind for, for longest attempt this year? Now, that. It's got to be in the 60s. I'd imagine. It's got to be in the 60s. Yeah, I, I feel like each year we've improved the record at least one yard. I think my first year was 58 and last year was 59. Um, so if the opportunity arises, I mean, I'd love to hit a long one, but, you know, those are so far and few between. Like, you never know whenever you're going to get a chance to hit a long field goal. So we'll see. I, don't, I, I really can't set a firm number because who knows? I mean, it'd be fun to hit a 60-something for sure. Nickname-wise, Money Mac, Shooter, which one have you gotten used to the most? Which one do you like the best? Yeah, I mean, I think Money Mac's stuck pretty well. I think uh, a lot of people in the locker room just call me Money, I guess, um, and people out in the streets or whatever. I think Money Mac is kind of like the staple right now. I appreciate the time. Good luck this season. Yeah, thank you.